Hi, my name's Phil Wildman from SY Electronics and today's topic is balanced audio. What do we mean by balanced audio? Where would we need to use that? And how does it work? That's interesting. So I'm gonna look at a few examples. So first of all, I've got some cables here, which I'm gonna show you. So what we're not talking about is this type of cable. This is an unbalanced audio cable. We've got left and right, signal ground, right signal ground. At the other end, we've got a three and a half mil TRS jack. So that's got three connections, but the tip is the left signal, the ring is the right signal, and the sleeve is the ground. So that's a stereo cable, I'm not talking about that. So are we talking about this one? No, this is a TS jack, both ends. So we have signal plus and signal ground. That's unbalanced. Good quality cable, but it's not what we're talking about. However, we are talking about this. Same kind of jack, but this is a TRS jack. We've got two of them, one for left, one for the right channel. So let's just take one channel. So we've got TRS tip ring sleeve. The tip is a signal plus, or the hot as we call it. The ring is the signal minus, or the cold signal as we call it. And then we've got the ground connection on the sleeve. Same at the other end. So that is carrying a balanced audio signal. Now, you may have different type of connection. We've got TRS jack, and then we've got, a, we've got an XLR socket at the other end of this one, and that is a balanced audio cable. Or you may have a cable that's got XLR both ends. And the same thing is happening. We've got three pins, signal plus, signal minus, and ground. Now, why are we doing that? We're carrying two copies of the signal along this cable. One copy of the signal is inverted. So imagine the naught volt here, we've got a reference point and then we've got signal plus, signal minus. So imagine our ground connection is connected to naught volts and then that's our signal hot and then our signal minus will be illustrated here. So if I draw an audio signal coming in, spectrum analyzer type waveform, that's our signal. That's great. With balanced audio, we send a second copy of the signal, but what we do, we invert the second copy. So we'll have it exactly out of phase. It's an identical copy of the signal. It is supposed to be an identical waveform, but it's 180 degrees out of phase. So the polarity is inverted completely. So you think, well, that's not much good because when we get to the other end, the out of phase signal is going to cancel out the in phase signal. Well, you're quite right, it would do, but what happens at the input is that that out of phase signal is inverted once more or put back into phase. So the result is we've got two copies of the signal that are now both in phase, gives us a nice, strong, clean audio signal. But if you go back to our diagram, imagine what happens with any noise or electrical interference that is picked up along the way. So this cable may be run over a long distance. So noise is picked up on both the in phase and the out of phase signal wires equally. Then remember, when it gets to the input, the out of phase signal is inverted once more. So because the noise that we've accumulated is picked up on both the in phase and out of phase wires, the noise is inverted and it then cancels out the noise that is on the other wire. So that's fantastic. So you get to the other end, the signal, nice and clean, the noise is inverted or cancels itself out and we've got no noise, just got a nice clean audio signal. So that is why we use balanced audio connections and that's especially important, of course, over longer distance runs. We are more likely to pick up uh, interference along the way. So you may ask, well, that's fine, Phil, but what about if we've got a source device that's got a balanced audio output and the device that we want to connect it to has only got an unbalanced audio input or perhaps the other way around. We've got a device that's only got an unbalanced audio output. We want to connect it to, to a device that's got a balanced audio input. Well, if you want to find out the answer to that one, watch the next video in the series because that will be the topic that we deal with. But for now, I hope you found today's topic interesting. And as always, we say thank you and we'll see you on the next one.